Hello YouTube, it's me, XX the Dark Void, and uh sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. I just haven't really done anything worth posting lately. Um But uh I've been doing small scale builds and security systems and fiddling with that sort of stuff lately and I'm really excited about it. So uh I thought I would show you this one, it's pretty basic. Um it's just a really nice chest security system. So there'll probably be stuff outside that you have to get through, like traps and hidden doors and uh, code locks and all sorts of that junk but when you finally get in here you know you're looking around you're looking through the chest there's probably some borderline interesting items in them uh, like uh, some iron and iron tools and stuff like that maybe like a compass or something but um so you take all that stuff and you leave but all my good stuff is hidden behind this wall so how it works is actually uses a a um, concept I haven't seen utilized before um, I'll get to that in a second, but also, uh, just want to prove to you that there's nothing behind these paintings at the moment. But, so you walk over here, and you throw an item through the painting. And that's what I haven't seen used before. Like, it's been around forever that you can throw items through paintings, and I'm just, I'm really surprised that people haven't done anything with it. It's fairly interesting. But, um, and then after I throw that in there, this door is open, and I hit that button, and the wall opens, I can come in here and get all my good stuff, come back, close it, close it, and uh, that's that, and the wall's closed again. So let me just show you how it works real quick. So we come out here, and uh, this is the item, this is the fa the painting where you throw the item through, and um, so what it is is I, I have my item detector here, but it's completely surrounded by glowstone. So um, the fence can't actually connect to anything. So unless you somehow defy gravity and have it to like barely slide off the edge and land right there, it's not going to get stuck. And then um, it triggers this T flip flop, which activates this section of an AND gate and goes down there as hardwired to the door on this side. And that's the block that the button's on. So you, that door opens. You push the button. Activates this T flip flop goes down this way, activates this section of the AND gate, and then goes and just uh, just is hardwired to this very simple just uh, flat wall hidden door. Um, I know you can do the hidden door a lot more compact, uh, I know you could probably do the rest of the circuitry a lot more compact, but um, this is just the way I chose to do it. Um, and this is pretty much the first like basic home security system I've ever done, um, but Clearly, it would work a lot better if you did most of this underground, because uh, if this were a real flat structure home, you know, that's just, that just would not work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to probably be posting more videos in the future uh, about small scale builds and uh, weaponry and stuff like that. I've all been researching that. It's all very interesting to me. But um, that's pretty much it. So this is XX the Dark Void signing off and uh please don't forget to subscribe.